this myth that you know Asian Americans and specifically East Asian Americans came to America, worked hard, achieved the American dream. Um, it's uh, there's a cost to it. I think most of us, most Asian Americans, have internalized that, and there's a cost that we don't realize that we are incurring. So, for example, just one thing that's very uh, very personal to me as an Asian American guy is people don't realize this, but at the turn of the century in like the 1900s, you know, in Chinatown, um, the, the Chinese men in Chinatown were kind of seen as sexy. Like there was this huge influx of these young white uh, missionaries who would go in there and then all their churches would be really pissed off about it <laughs> because a lot of them would start dating these Chinese guys. You know what I mean? And, and, uh, and, and back then the stereotypes were that uh, Chinese Chinese men were um, were uh, genetically criminal. That we were unpredictable, you know. But that also we were kind of sexy. Uh, and then and then this all flips. This all flips in World War II. And in World War II, what happens is that America realizes that China is our greatest ally against the Empire of Japan. And all these stereotypes shift. We go from being genetically criminal to genetically hardworking and loyal. Uh, and then at the end of World War II, Chinese Americans are actually allowed to move into white neighborhoods. But that comes with a cost. The cost is, you know, it's fine for that Chinese family to move next door as long as they don't marry your daughter, as long as they don't, they don't date your daughter. So then, then all, that, all that sexiness, all that Chinese sexiness gets kind of <laughs> drained away from, from, the, from the narrative that America tells about Chinese Americans. Eventually, in part because uh, America has a hard time telling the difference between Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans. That that idea gets spread all around. So it encompasses all Asian Americans. And I, I just think a lot of us um, who believe in this idea that you know we've whatever we've achieved is purely because of hard work. It's not because of a narrative shift that dates back to World War II. That we've lost something without realizing it. <laughs>